Okay, so I mentioned that I'd be doing the rest of the Dreamy Rainbow Saga in one part, but turns out part 4 and uh, part end uh, are really long due to some tedious battles. So here's part 3 as a standalone. Part 3 is much like the two previous parts in that it barely moves the plot forward, if at all, but it does have some random backstory cutscenes that you can randomly get when attempting to open the game. Anyway, let's get this over with. After the events of Dreamy Rainbow's 2 RPG! It's been a week since my last nightmare with Pink and Mena. Maybe I should go to Sugar Cube Corner and ask her. But, well, let's forget it for now, because... Tonight is the Grand Galloping Gala! I have to take a shower before the makeup. Let's go! Okay, so we're officially starting this game. I search around the house, but... The, the tiny room, actually. I, there, I don't believe there's anything there, at least not in the version I'm playing. I downloaded it at the end of the April, so if you're playing this game much later after that, there might be like some new stuff in it, I guess. When night arrived. It's a shame you can't go to the gala with us, Pinky. Nah, it's alright. At least I'll be able to stay with my dear and lovely sister. Oh yeah, awesome. We See? She's happy to be with me. Huh. <sighs> anyway... I'm gonna tell to Celestia about everything you two are doing. You're progressing very well. Soon you will be able to be free again, Pinkamina. Oh, thanks, I think. Well, I have to go, girls. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Twilight. Have fun at the gala. So well, sister. What are we gonna do tonight? Let me do my job, for example. Your job? Yes, my job. Sis, you're putting the same face all the time. This was supposed to be a stare contest. I know, it's the only face I have in the database. Whatever, let's make some cupcakes. Yes, cupcakes, wee! Two hours later. At the gala. Yeah, that's a very old template picture, actually. And it's, uh, it looks like it's day when we're here. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to all the ponies. I have to look for the animals of the garden of this place. They're so cute. What is Derpy doing up there? Ah, uh, what a pony. Where can I put my apple store? Hey bonbon, 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 hey bonbon. Rit! The gala has been fantastic, like every year. Here we are at a grand galloping gala. Don't know why Twilight and Rarity have portraits, but the others do not. I'm taking a break before starting to play the cello after the gala. I need a deep breath. Let's party all the night! Uh, you can't really speak to the royal guards for some reason. And Derby is up there if you look to the top left. Anyway, yeah, just as you're getting excited to go into a new area, this happens. It's time for the jump scares. Y you're supposed to move to the right all the time. Uh, I kind of want to fast forward through this, but I'll let it go. It's, it doesn't... Like, it lasts too long for my taste, but... Not to the point of, like, uh, completely, f like, being overly tedious. Like, if you're playing this, it's, it, it lasts just the right amount of time, I guess. Quality-wise, it's still like bottom tier, though.
And I tried to like go somewhere else by going up constantly, but but no, I'm stuck in this one road. And here we have uh, the same racetrack from the previous two parts of the Dreamy Rainbow Saga, I think. It looks very similar, but it's not quite the same. Even so, this is completely pointless because, well, I've just gone through this. Look. Why, why did this have to happen again? Was there like an Easter egg I missed? And that's Twilight, I think. Quite positive. Princess Luna! What's happening here? At last! She's here! End. Anyway, yeah, that's it for part 3 of the Dreamy Rainbow Saga. But uh, there's quite a few uh, alternate cutscenes that you can find by continuously trying to play uh, the game. First, we have this rather short cutscene that I'm not sure where it's supposed to be placed in the timeline. So Pinkamena, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? And that's it. That that's that's uh, one of the scenes you can get for just opening the game. Uh, really, really short, but I guess it like means something. For another cutscene, we have this. Yeah, yeah, that that's it for this one. I, I think this one was unintentional because, well, I I don't know. I don't know what Hedgehog Self is thinking. He's I'm pr quite positive that uh, he's a bit insane because of uh, well, doing a game and RPG. <laughs> if any of you watch that, I'll go though. That will come up in the next part. Uh, but the shtick is that if you read the description of uh, the Dreamy Rainbow is download link, he says that he fiddle with the uh, like. Uh, random integer when you open the game so that you could get like a different cutscene every time you open the like one of the parts of Dreamy Rainbows. It's I don't know why he thought that it was a good idea or that it was worth mentioning. It, it's just frustrating if you ask me to constantly open the game and to try to find uh, everything there is about it. I guess the best solution though is to decompile the whole thing but I don't know how to do that. Anyway uh, I'm there's one final cutscene, but it's so long that I'm actually gonna like do my closing comments right now Anyway for tomorrow, it's gonna be part four of the dreamy rainbow saga, which is uh, you guys will see uh, After that it is only gonna be dreamo dreamy rainbows part end <laughs> And that'll be it for the master max series. I'll I'll leave it on hiatus I'll probably only ever pick it up again if it ever gets finished and I somehow doubt that it will be the case because you guys will see. Uh, anyway, for this final cutscene, well, I think uh, some of you might think it's catchy. It, I, I believe it was music made by someone that uh, Hedgehog Self is like closely related to. Anyway, enjoy it if you can, and please have a nice day. Bye-bye.